Good morning from the car. We are headed to the south side today to spend the day at my mom's. I actually have a dermatologist appointment. I have a family history of melanoma cancer. If you, if you did not know, my dad actually passed away from melanoma cancer. And so every, actually twice a year, I just go get my skin checked just to make sure everything is looking good. So this is your reminder. If you've been putting off any sort of screenings during COVID, to make your appointments. James is still in his jammies because we pulled him out of bed. He's used to sleeping in a little later. But it's a bright sunny day. Let's go. Start in our day with one of our favorite snacks and that is potato chips and Tabasco sauce. It is a Jim Ryan classic. My dad is Jim Ryan. This is Jim Ryan. Is your name Jim? We got his favorite movie on. A goofy movie. You love it? You got your goofy too? This, see that sunshine coming through? It is so nice down here. It's literally like, as a child, when I would come down here on Saturday mornings and be like, blinded by the sun. It brings me right back. What's, <laughs> I like your leg, your leg extension. parked at my dermatologist's office. I actually go to a really notable doctor's practice. I don't see him. If you're in the Chicagoland area, um, his name is Dr. Mandrea, like my mom, my grandma, like my family's gone to him forever. Um, I actually don't see him, um, but I really, really love my doctor. So if you're interested, I will, and you're in the area, um, I'd be more than welcome to share their name with you. I, I'm a, definitely a more modest person and so because I started coming here when I was a teenager it was nicer to have like a younger woman doctor um so yeah hopefully everything goes well I haven't had anything taken off in a long time but these as like necessary as these appointments are that doesn't mean that they're like they don't cause a lot of anxiety for me obviously family history there's just like there's a lot of you know, stress there. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually been thinking about it, so I'm kind of in a good headspace, but I will follow up after the check, hopefully. Honestly, I usually wait longer than the actual appointment is, but whatever the case is, I will let you know how it goes. Someone's gonna get into fresh clothes, do da. Do da ba ba, someone's gonna get in fresh clothes. Ah, ba boo, ma ba. Someone woke up from their not very long nap. Well, mommy's gone. So I'm putting myself a little away for my long lunch for work to hang out with my Jamesy boy. Oh. oh. And what's the better thing to do than put Massimo on Chef's Table Season 1, Episode 1? Massimo Baturo, check it out. And gonna lotion that boy up and get him in uh, for his eczema and get him in a new outfit. So guys, I'm gonna sprout five teeth at one time. There's like a bunch of different bases coming through and he's so drooly and chewy these days. Oh no, you dropped your toy. <laughs> we got butterflies people i'm back with my baby so i didn't have anything um look abnormal or have to be taken off i did have a little 
treatment for a planner's wart that's been on my toe since I was literally like eight years old. Um, and it was totally gone. We like had crazy treatments on it when I was younger, um, but it made its way back. So she did a little liquid nitrogen on that. Liquid nitrogen? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> but, but really good visit. <laughs> I showed her a bunch of pictures of James and his sensitive skin. <laughs> well, aren't you the sweetest? All right, it's just because you know what? It's almost Friday. It's Friday Eve, and we're feeling good, having a good day. We're moving Pizza Friday to Pizza Thursday this week to surprise Sarah's mom. If you didn't know, although Chicago is known for deep dish, it is also known for thin crust. And just pizza in general. And pizza in general, but some really great thin crust. And a lot of that is on this outside. So we are going to get Palermo's pizza, which I definitely think we've shown before. Yes, and my work day is just finished. So I'm hanging out with James while Sarah gets some fun Country Thunder stuff this year. Country Thunder stuff situated and virtual 5K stuff situated. Virtual 5K. She, Sarah had, I had to bail on Sarah and she covered a meeting with the American Cancer Society uh, the last part of the day because I had a pop-up meeting at work. So, productive, right? Yeah. More details in the coming days. We'll have a website set up and everything. Yeah, soon. I want to get it launched. Let's get it launched. Uh, I don't want to say tonight because... I, I knew it was going <laughs> to be your tongue. Maybe we'll get the website configured tonight. Like, we'll start it. <laughs> Two on my finger. He's very grabby. He's a big old kid who just ordered some pizza. And you see, oh, you love Pluto. Oh gosh, you give kisses. We're gonna meet him this summer. Say, Mom, Dad, can we just go in like two weeks? He's been like doing that growling. I like it. We're, we're getting the cell phone set up to go live. Mm -hmm. Speaking with my hands, but look at this. Look at we because we're like not home. We don't have our our stuff. Look at this setup. This is what I just took the cell phone off of. We're using this dollhouse. The perfect tripe. The Blythe House. Isn't that what that was called? <laughs> the haunting of Blythe Manor or whatever. Mm -hmm. This goat. That's a ghost. That's, that's a ghost. A horse. Yeah, it's a horse ghost. I think it was a goat. No, a horse <laughs> ghost. Uh, that's a haunted iron. That's a haunted baby. <laughs> I think this will work. We propped it up on the, the ghost baby just now, and it worked out. Now we started watching Walk the Line. The pizza should be here any moment, and so should Sarah's mom. And then it won't be long after that that we devour delicious pizza and then head up north. <gasps> Let's get this pizza. Half cheese, half sausage, pepper, green, onion, and what else? Woo, baby! Yes. So, me and James are in the apartment. Peter has been searching for a parking spot for probably the longest he's ever had to. And I put his phone on the charger so he doesn't even have his phone. I I don't know if he kept track of time, but it's been like well over a half hour. So I was starting to get a little bit panicky, like if I'm being totally honest. Um, and I wasn't really even sure what I was gonna do. Like I was about to get James in the stroller to like walk around and make sure that Peter was okay. But thank goodness he drove past our window and I was sitting and watching. Um, so that's good. And then I also put two and two together that the Cubs were in the 10th inning. They just beat the Mets um, with a home run, which is great, but I'm assuming that is why there are no parking spots. So my little worried heart and mind can like take a deep breath, but I was like, I was going places. I used to have this long story from the last five years ago, last time I lived in this neighborhood that 
the only the worst time I ever found a parking spot, and you guys know like it's like a game to me, was like a terrible busy night during Pride, like that weekend. I ended up having two like drag queens flag me down and like tell me that they were on their way out and if I followed them they I could get their parking spot and that was like a forty five minute excursion to get our car. We got off Lakeshore Drive at nine twenty tonight. I just walked in the door and it's 11 o'clock. But then Sarah told me, I thought something was going on because the Wrigley lights were still on and um, there was a helicopter in that area and Sarah said that Cubs went to the 10th inning or something, but I literally parked a block away from Christina and Grant's apartment and I didn't have my cell phone or anything. Um, and they're almost, they're a little, they're like about three quarters of a mile away from our apartment and I looked for pay parking. I looked for parking that I'd have to get up and move at like 7 a.m., on Lakeshore Drive, but that was wild. I think I listened to the Hamilton soundtrack <laughs> like two and a half times. Well, you should have chopped off our antenna. And Actually, I forgot to tell you, certain radio stations we get because we're so close, because a lot of them, like some of them emit from like the Sears Tower. Mm -hmm. So even though we don't have an antenna, we're so close to downtown that we get it. <sighs> Go night nights. <laughs> It's like that so mentally beat that you're physically beat as well. April 22nd, I'm heating up a bottle for Jamesy Boy. Today's message is by William Wordsworth. Ple pleasure is spread through the earth in stray gifts to be claimed by whoever shall find. The downside of having a sunny apartment is we can't fake it when um, we forget to sign off. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.